are you guys doing it live most of the time or is it live and offline and um, how does it work? So I, I understand the platform part, but the shows as such, how do you do I can, them? I can take that, Kat. Mm -hmm. um, so the network itself is delivered in the same way you get traditional linear TV. When you would click on your TV, you'd be able to switch through channels. We provide that. So we have shows that are live that we're streaming from live partners, or we have. You're on mute. Jehu, we can't hear you. You're, you're on This mute. whole time I was like going into it and I was like, I've got this layered out. And yeah, because I saw people like shaking their head. I'm like, yeah, I'm awesome. All right, cool. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so what I was saying is, uh, the network, we deliver it in the same fashion as uh, linear TV. We have, um, content that is delivered to you from streaming partners that are live. So you get your traditional news that is live or some content that they provide if it's a talk show. But then we also have curated content that is set up in a programmed um, fashion. So we say every day at three, you're gonna get this show and so on. Um, so we have a myriad of two things. It's, it's just the way that traditional TV was delivered to you, but we're doing it in connected devices. So that's how that exists. And also just to kind of speak to uh, your platform, this is something I do, Siraj. All right, so Tuli, you have a platform. Um, and your platform is a marketplace that connects business uh, or individual beauty um, people with consumers, right? That's what you do. Right. On our network, we would have a show that say, for instance, Charmed. We have a show called Juju Girls that is a, a Caribbean version of Charmed. So it's witches and they happen to have social lives as well. So we would make it where the uh, companies that you work with, if they have products that um, they want to get to a younger demographic or a multicultural demographic. Some of the individuals in the program would be using it as part of their daily routine. So maybe their lipstick, maybe their base, whatever it is, comes from one of those companies. And what we've enabled and we're enabling going forward on a lot of our shows will be the ability for someone to tap the screen without it breaking the viewing. And it goes into their shopping cart that we call a go cart to enable the further purchasing of it. We want to do it streamlined and clean so it doesn't make it so it's something that pulls you off site. We want you to keep watching the show and it's second nature. And we're going to set it up where there is a budgetary um, component. So now we have people that have mid, low, and higher tiers for their budgets. And we have co the products that go according to those budgets as well. So if you have a luxury brand, they'd hit the luxury top tier. You have a mid and so on. That's what we're doing. So a platform like yours would be working with us to uh, give content to a lot of other shows. We give products and we work with your ad budget to figure out what it is that you want to get showcased. Wow, that's excellent. Because I actually wanted to ask then your content creators, do you take them through a process to verify the, the, um, the work they do, skills and stuff like that? Or do you just take and, and go through it and then approve based on whether you like it or not? It's a bit of both. Um, we marry the vetting process with the whether or not they have enough content to sustain the existence of their show on the network. We're not into vlog space. We're not YouTube. We are looking for series. Like, so we want serials that are one to two seasons already produced. We can run them and have reruns that hit because that's what happens on traditional TV. But then we actually get more funding for seasons three, four, and so on. Um, then there is the point where you have to meet Kathleen. You have to have that interview. You have to make sure that you're somebody that can create or at least has a vision going forward that kind of is in line with what we're doing. Because um, we don't want content that starts off in one direction and then starts to become a lot of what we see on TV because we don't want what's already out there on TV. That's the same thing for our music that we're putting on the music channels. Oh, that sounds awesome. It sounds like the future, actually. You're just doing more than what the normal um, TV guys are doing. That's great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.